of Jesus. I thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord God, and to our name of Jesus. Lord Father, we ask for our sisters and brothers that we follow him. Father God, we thank you that we preach brothers, pastors, bishop, bishop Tom's, Pastor Jimmy Arms. Amen. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. How you doing? God bless you real good. I know you miss me. Hallelujah. Welcome to Saving Souls and Making Disciples, where we preach and teach, amen, uh, straight from the Word of God, amen, where it's just like a Bible study, amen. Hallelujah. We just thank God for the airways uh, by way of television and uh, a band of public, a band of public television, amen, uh, uh, by giving this opportunity, this goal golden opportunity to uh, showcase a man Jesus Christ amen because he is the reason for the season amen and we just gonna just dive right into a man where we left off amen if you if you tune in last trip you know we was talking about the bread of life amen which is Jesus Christ amen and if you eat of that bread you won't have to be hungry no more amen because truly it is time to tighten up amen it's time to tighten up my brothers and sisters because uh, the days are evil amen but greater is he that is in us and he's in the world amen we're living in some last we're living in some perilous times amen so we're just going to just dive into the word of God but first we're going to usher a prayer Father in heaven, we thank you, Father, for another day, another golden opportunity to come to you in prayer. Father, we know that this is the gateway, amen, to your ear. Hallelujah. That we can come boldly to your throne, Father, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, you can't see our sin because every time you look... You see the blood. Hallelujah. He's blocking us. Hallelujah. Because we, 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 we know that we wear filthy rags. But Father, we know that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. Now, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you open up the hearts and the minds, amen, of these, your people, that's going to hear a word from God. Father, we ask in the name that's above every name, Father, that you penetrate, Father, the, the, the understanding of the word, that they understand what the word is saying. Father, we just ask, Father, that you hide me behind your veil. Stand up in me, Father. Let your word go forth as pure gold. Now we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We just thank you once again. Amen. We are we are delighted to inform you that this is the way that you could call in to that number under your screen and uh, request prayer. Amen. I am Pastor Davis, a man of Deliverance House, uh, uh, where, where we uh, are in, in transaction, tra uh, transition right now. But Deliverance House will always be uh, a man. I am, you know, uh, uh, the uh, epitome, hallelujah, if you might say, of Deliverance House. Amen. Where we uh, 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 aim to please and not tease. Amen. Praise God. We, we teach the word of God. Amen. From straight from the word of God through the man of God amen from God amen and that's how that goes amen we are a, a church amen of a, a, a family amen when you come amen on to, 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 to reach to, 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 to uh, in my space amen you are my family you consider my family amen you're my brother from another mother my sister from another mother but we got the same father amen praise God amen Amen. Well, again, we're diving into John chapter 6. Amen. Call your neighbor. Call your, your cousin. Call your cousin. Call uh, 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 Archie Pettigrew. Call uh, 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 Tall Pettigrew. Call uh, uh, Boogie. Amen. Call them all. Amen. Tell them. Say amen. Uh, you know, EV is on TV. Amen. Praise God. He's reading the Bible to us. Yeah, call our cousins and let them know the, to tune in to this show because it's surely to bless your soul. Because like I say, I read precept by precept and line upon line. I don't miss nothing. And I just give you what God gives me. Amen. Amen. Diving into uh, John chapter, John chapter 
6, we're going to start at verse 39. John chapter 6, verse 39. And it reads as follow: These things said he in the synagogue, as he taught Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is an this this is and heard saying heard saying who can hear it let me read that again many therefore of his disciples many therefore of his disciples when they heard uh this they said this is a heard saying who can hear it when jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it he said unto them doeth this offend you what what and if ye shall see the son of man ascend up where he was before hallelujah what if what and if ye see the son of man ascend up where he was before it is the spirit that quicketh the flesh profiteth nothing the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not. And who should betray him? And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. I just said a mouthful here. Amen. Now here are his disciples. The one that followed him, the one that ate with him, the one that slept with him, the one that dipped their bread in the wine and, 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 and laughed and talked and, 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 and did jokes with Jesus. The same ones, a man that seen Jesus when he healed a man, the, 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 the man by the pool of Bethesda. The same man when uh, the woman was caught in the very act of adultery, a man, he said, go and sin no more. And all of those who, 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 who was going to stone her, they turned and walked away because they knew they sinned. This was the Jesus that they knew. But even then, they had to question Jesus about who he was. So if you're in a place right now where you feel that you sin so much that you can't get back to Jesus, here was his disciples and they didn't even know what he was saying. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So we have to understand that uh, uh, sometimes the word will offend you, but you have to suck it up because the truth is the only thing that will set you free. Hallelujah. We know that, that, that Jesus, a man, was saying that he was going to ascend back up to heaven. Amen. But this seemed uh, to be something that was spooky. Amen. So to speak. So so he said he said to them, he said, it is the spirit that quicketh. Quicketh mean quicken mean to bring alive again. It quickens your quickens your spirit. Quickens your spirit to let you know uh, 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 to quicken the Holy Spirit down on the inside of you. Those of you that have accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. It's, it is not the flesh. It's not the fleshly thing that you're in your might and in your power and your uh, uh, in your well-being and your intellect and your philosophy that these things happen. But it's through the inspiration. Lord have mercy, Jesus. It's through the Ruach, the breath of God, hallelujah, that these words, the spirit is trying to tell you because the, the, the flesh it profits nothing. Oh, okay. Well, well, as I told you a few days ago uh, uh, on my last episode, if not on the last episode, I, I know I've said it, is that the spirit, 
the spirit, it reaps eternal life. But the flesh, only thing it reaps is corruption. Hallelujah. It goes on to say, now once the spirit quickened, it said the prophet, it said the spirit, the flesh profits nothing. The words that Jesus was speaking unto them was spirit and life. Amen. But there are some that believe not. Even though, even though, amen, they walk with them and they talk with them and breathe and slept with them, it's still somebody that's watching this movie, watching this television program that don't believe. You don't believe because you're not have yet given up the fleshly part of you to think that you can do this thing on your own. Hey man, but I'm trying to tell you, you that, 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 that's in the jailhouse, you, hey amen, that's, that's about to get some time, you that, 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 that's on drugs and alcohol, hey amen. I'm a prime example of being quickened. Hallelujah. If, if you knew, known me over these years, I'm 54 years old now, but I ain't always been on this side. I've not always been on this side. I was on the side where a man, I believed, but I didn't believe. Because a lot of times I just wanted to do it myself. I took life as a joke. Amen. But here I'm going on into uh, verse, tw verse 64 it said, but there are some of ye that don't believe. For Jesus knew it from the beginning that they were not going to believe and some that was going to betray him. What I'm trying to say is that Jesus knows you before you was even born. He knew you before you was formed in the belly of your mother. Oh, you don't believe me? Okay, let me turn here to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, the first chapter. Amen. Jeremiah, the first chapter. Amen. Jeremiah, the first chapter, beginning at the fifth verse. It said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before I, before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee to be a prophet to the nation. Not only did he or not only did he know you, but he ordained you. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, don't no, don't no man have to ordain you to be a, 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 a minister or, 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 or to, to minister the word of God. God said he had already ordained you and sanctified you. What does sanctification mean? Sanctification means to be set aside for God's work. That's what sanctified me. You know, and, you, and it don't mean being perfect. It don't mean being perfect because ain't no man perfect. But let me understand this, that he sanctified thee and ordained thee to be a prophet. Not only did he sanctify thee and ordain thee, but he chose you to be a prophet to the nations. He don't just want, amen, you to talk about Jesus, amen, right here in Champaign, Urbana, but he wants you to talk about Jesus everywhere you go. Hallelujah. If you go to the Marketplace Mall, he wants you to talk about Jesus. If you, want, if you go to Danville Civic Center, he wants you to talk there. He, if you go to uh, Alabama, he wants you to talk about him there. If you go to New York, he wants to talk, you understand what I'm saying because he ordained you to be a prophet to the nations well well I don't know how to I don't know how to talk I, I mean my mind you know I don't know how to talk about you let me tell let me show you something else let me go on and read here in, in Jeremiah verse 6 1 6 then said I oh Lord God behold I cannot speak for I am a child and many of us are childs but Jesus, that's how Jesus wants us to come as a child. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Sit right here by daddy. God, G God wants us to come as a little child 
This is a child. This is my daughter, Naomi. And this is how God's, because see, she's innocent. She don't have much knowledge as I may have in this world. But she uh, knows who Jesus is. And not only do she know who Jesus is, where, where do you go to school? I go to school at Canaan Academy. It's a private school. And every Friday I go to chapel and I get to learn more. What, what, what do you learn at, at chapel? Last time I, I learned um, Simon, he was with his dad. And they were wanting to make a turkey sandwich. The cheese, um, it was moldy. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of sin can be a big thing. Wow. You see, you see, this is a child. And she's not only learning here at home. And most of the time, I don't read the Bible all the time, every day at home. But I walk it out. I let them see my mistakes. You see, because I, I want you to know that God looked past our faults and he see our need. You see, I, I teach my children to know who Jesus is and to know that ain't nobody perfect. But see, she's learning and she's learning not only from home, but she's learning from Canaan Academy through Dr. Dr. What's his name? His name is Mr. Tatum, and since I finished the Bible, I actually read it every day, and now I got to the end. Amen, amen. Well, before you get off of here, Naomi, is there anything that you would like to pray for? Pray for God, our Go family. Jesus, Lord, I bless you in the name of Jesus. You are higher than anybody in this world, and I thank you for that, for re for letting us repent. Yes. Instead of going to the bad, we go to the good. We repent to you, Lord. Bless for our family, bless for our hope, bless our heart, bless with Simon on our sin, that that little bit of thing can be a big thing when Simon, well, everything was moody, so they just went to shake, stake and shake. Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, daughter. Okay. Amen. Thank God. Thank God for my daughter. We we just thank God. She's six years old, and you know she's she's learning a lot about the Bible, and God has ordained her. To, she's a prayer warrior. That's what I called her from two years old. She's a prayer warrior, and she loves to pray. Every night before we go to bed, me and mother, we may be sitting up watching TV or just sitting in there having a conversation, and she'll come in the room and just say, Dad and Mom, let's pray. And we pray together. A family that prays together stay together. Amen. Okay, but it goes on to say that, you know, I'm, I'm, but I can't speak. I'm just a little child. I don't know what to tell people. Well, you know, don't, 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 don't fret yourself. You let God do it. If God give you something, what is it? It's good. It's not bad. So if he tell you, go over there and pray for that lady at the store because she, she looks like she's sad. Go over there and pray for her. Don't miss opportunity. Watch this, what it says. It goes on to say, verse 7. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So understand that God wants us to go everywhere and tell everybody about his word. And he said he knew he knew us before we was formed in the belly of our mother, as you knew, as, as you as I just read to you. And Jeremiah, that's Jeremiah chapter five, verse verses five through ten. 
Yeah. Go back to uh, to the text uh, in uh, chapter 6 of John, uh, uh, verse 65. It says, And he said, Therefore I said unto you, that no man come unto me except he were, be, get, were given unto him of my father. Understand that we cannot come on our own to Jesus. We got to be drawn by the Father. Because the Father, He's the one that created us in His image and in His likeness. He created His Son in His image and in His likeness. Hallelujah. But we just are just a little bit lower than the angels. So we know we can't go through Dalai Lama. We cannot go through Confucius. We cannot go through uh, Allah. We cannot go through uh, 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 any kind of other God. Or uh, 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 what they call it, uh, uh, Hebrew, Yahshua. Yeah, that's Jesus. That's, that's another Jew, uh, Hebrew name for Jesus. But see, you don't believe that Jesus is God. So you can't go through him because you don't believe. You got to be a true believer. This is what the word of God said. It goes on to say, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, will ye also go away? Look at this. Look at this. See, it's, it, it's some folks that, that's going to walk away from the, the, the faith and, and, and probably never return because they think that in their minds that they're right. You see? The Bible goes on to say in verse 67, Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will you go away also? Simon Peter answered to the Lord, answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go that thou hast words of eternal life? Oh, my God, look at that. I'm telling you the truth. This is the truth of God. And each time Peter always stands up. I think me and Peter has the same type of blood running through our vein because I failed so many times. I've failed God so many times. I've turned away from him so many times and did what I wanted to do. But each time I fail, I got up and I got stronger and stronger. The Bible tells us a just man may fall seven times, but he rises again. And here again, here again, he rises. I thank God. I'll, I'll just stay tuned for one minute. Sometimes we might go, just leave God and do whatever we want, but we have to repent to God, come back to him. Because we are his sons and daughters. Amen. And like the word says here, Naomi, it says that Simon Peter said, Lord, some, some of the disciples left and went their way. But he asked, his, he asked the 12 disciples, are you going to go away too? And Peter stood up and said, where can we go? You're the only one that could give us, give us eternal life. You know, the words of eternal life. So why, why would we want to leave God? Why, why would we want to leave God? Well, I don't really know, because he is a really good... He is a really good God. Oh, man. Well, I'm, I'm doing my show right now, and uh, my wife just called in, so hopefully we can edit this out. One second. I'm done. I'm done. We'll, we'll be done for right now. Okay. We'll be done. Wait, wait, wait. Mikey. <sighs> Call me back, Audrey.
What timing? What timing? As you were saying, why, why would you leave God? Well, I really wouldn't want to because he is a really good God. Mm -hmm. he, tried our, he tried his best. He died on the cross for our sins for us. That way we wouldn't have to go on the cross for us. But maybe well, thank you, Jesus, man. You know, and that, that's, that's coming out of the mouth of babes. You know, we just about through, you know, uh, we got about two or three minutes left in this segment. And um, what I would like to say is just trust God. Don't walk away from him. Because, you know, I, I'm a living testament of what God can do. You know, I'm, I'm thank God for the roof over my head, you know, the job that I have, the clothes that I have on my backs for my children. And I just want you to, if you're listening to this show, I want you to just close your eyes and say these words with me. Jesus, come into my life. Lord, make me a better person, Lord. Lord, take away the drugs and the alcohol. Lord, take away the distress. Take away the problems, Lord. Lord, I'm just so ever grateful to you, Lord, that you just give me this opportunity to be in the kingdom. Lord, I repent of my sins. I believe that Jesus died for me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 If you said those words, then welcome to the kingdom of God. And I'll see you in a little bit. I won't be long. See you next week on Saving Souls and Making Disciples. Right. <laughs>